Hello everybody, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and my voice may sound a little bit scratchy because I just woke up, I got on my PC, was getting ready to edit an angler video for today, and then realized that there was an announcement for the Hunter Call of the Wild, and of course they finally announced something for the game, something brand new that will be coming very soon, no release date as of now, but we do have some information on what the next update's gonna be, and it looks like it's gonna be a handgun weapon pack, which is actually kind of cool not gonna lie i didn't expect this and it's definitely a very different direction than what we've seen with a lot of the other weapon packs which is kind of a cool thing to see not gonna lie i was really expecting this next update to be a trophy lodge or something like that but instead it's a new weapon pack and it's actually got some cool stuff in it so the very first handgun that we're going to be getting is the 243R Cuomo, which seems to be a single shot 243 based on the description. And it says it's compatible with all rifle scopes, which is actually a pretty cool feature. Never expected them to make all uh, rifle scopes compatible with one of the handguns in the game, but it seems like they've done that with this single shot 243. When I first saw this thing, I honestly thought it was going to be like a single shot uh, 308 or a single shot 223 because typically that's what the single shot handguns that I've seen in real life are. So I was expecting it to be one of those, but this one actually is a 243, and this is going to make it so I can carry this instead of the 243 rifle, and still be able to take down the small game. The next handgun that we see in this weapon pack is going to be the 45 Roller Stun, which is a single action revolver, uh, chambered in 45 Colt. It will be able to use both the 45 Colt flat nose hard case and the 45 Colt full metal jacket. Now. I may be wrong, but didn't we previously only have one 45 Colt ammunition? I feel like we only had one, but then again, I never used that thing, so it's possible that we've always had two and I just didn't realize it. But either way, we're getting another 45 Colt and it is definitely going to be a, a cooler 45 Colt revolver than what we've got currently. If I'm being honest, I've never liked the 45 Colt in uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild. I always felt like it was very underpowered and just didn't really do much. and. The 410 shells that went along with it were pretty bad as well. However, I might end up using this just because of the look. But this third one right here is by far going to be the one that I use the most. The 10mm Devani. This is going to be a 15 round magazine capacity semi-automatic Glock. Let's be honest, it's a Glock even though they don't say it is. Uh, that is what it is. And I am so, so happy. We're finally getting a 10 millimeter handgun and not only is it a 10 millimeter but it's probably going to be the best handgun in the game just based off of that magazine capacity the fact that it's semi-automatic and the fact that it's 10 millimeter I mean that's just insane this is by far gonna be I would say the handgun equivalent to the 308 in Call of the Wild now the question is will you be able to place any sights on it I feel like you should be able to place the uh, marksman exact sight on it because if we're kind of thinking of how things would be in real life, that would be the most likely sight that you could put on a Glock. And I think it would be cool to be able to do that. I don't know if they're going to allow us to. Uh, I guess we'll have to see whenever they end up releasing some footage of these guns. But this is definitely the one that I'm most excited for. And I'm wondering what different variations each of these are going to have. We already see one variation for each of them. But the question is... What other uh, color variations will these handguns have? I'm curious if they'll have like a um, FDE version of the Glock or uh, something cool like that. It also says down here at the bottom that if you guys want to see it a little bit early, be sure to tune into the Hunting Lodge on Tuesday, September 20th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which would be 12 uh, p.m. Eastern Time. And that is going to be tomorrow, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, guys, with that being said, I hope you all enjoy this quick little look at the new information that we got for the Hunter Call of the Wild and the Assorted Sidearms Pack. Thank you all for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future videos. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys enjoyed, and I will try to respond to as many as I can. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.